Yo, have y'all been keeping up with the Pippin hot goss about our fave actors lately? Strap in cause this tea is so scalding, it'll make you wish you had asbestos lips. Tan Jonchi hit it big two years ago with that edge of your seat thriller, Under the Skin. Bet half the viewers were just holding their breath the whole time trying to look as cut as Tan Jonchi on screen. Homie kept that momentum going by teaming up with baddies Yangza and Dung Wei for last year's smash hit, Lost You Forever. That show was straight fire. More like lost my sanity over how good this is forever. Am I right? Tan Jiansi's acting chops are so sick, producers are lining up to snag him. In Lost You Forever, Tan Jiansi played the snaky demon Shangliu. He spilled that getting into that serpent vibe wasn't a cakewalk. Yeah, no kidding, I have a hard enough time embodying a lazy couch potato. Not only did he have to embody a tiny animal, but he had to do it without looking too human, yeah dig? So no constantly checking his phone for the latest corn kid vids. These days, Tan Jonchi is shooting that urban sci-fi jam filter with Lee Londi. Hopefully the catering isn't all deep fried this time so his snake demon physique doesn't make an unexpected return. There were whispers his next gig would be the drama Zhang Hui Yushi Neon Dung. That translates to 10 years lantern on a stormy martial arts world night for you non-Chinese speakers, which is a million times easier to pronounce than some tongue twisty English titles like the, the, the. It's the latest adaptation from Guangxin Zeluan, the same writer who blessed us with the story of Ming Lan, so you know it gonna be hype. Now here's where the tea gets pippin' hot. Gong Jun, who's been on a popularity downswing cause his dramas last year didn't exactly set the ratings on fire, was gunning to lock down a role in the show to get his career back on track. But despite Gong Jun's pretty boy looks, his acting was considered subpar, so the producers gave him the boot right off the bat. Ouch, tough break when your face is the best thing about your acting. After getting axed from Zhang Hu, Gong Jun ended up butting heads with Tan Jiangxi again, but this time over fashion. Turns out they were rocking the same stylist. When Tan Jiangxi was set to stunt at the Weibo Vision Conference, the stylist hooked him up with threads meant for Gong Jun's other event. Bruh, how do you mix those two up? It's like confusing Shaq and Danny DeVito's wardrobe. You already know Gong Jun's fans weren't having it. They dragged Tan Jiangxi hardcore, saying his 5 feet 7 inch self couldn't pull off luxury fits. Yeah, like half of China's population is over 6 feet, but our guy Tan Jiangxi, ever the classy gent, didn't want to beef with Gong Jun's stands, so he just dicked out of Zhang Hu and refocused on Under the Skin Season 2 instead. Can't be distracting the makeup artists from their Beverly. With Tan Jiangxi out, investor interest in Zhang Hu cooled way down. It went from a top tier Class S production to Class A real quick. They had already locked in newcomer Bao Shangen, fresh off winning Best Newcomer at the Asia Contents Awards for her fire debut as the female lead. And you know what they say, after you get fresh off the boat your next stop is getting fresh off the success train. As for the new male lead, they nabbed Joe Yiran who blew up thanks to When I Fly Towards You. This dude kicked off as a singer before diving into acting in 2020. But his natural fresh approach to the craft has fans hyped about him joining this project. That's the piping hot tea from the Asian entertainment scene fam. What do you make of all this messy drama? Let me know in the comments and make sure to smash that like button. I'll catch you on the next vid. Stay thirsty my friends.